All right, we're here with Arthur and Patrick Ross, who are here today together as father and son team, actually. Now, what, from what I understand, you started out coming here to this contest, and then later on you picked it up from him, right? So, is that right? Oh, that's right, yeah. We've, we've been at it in quite a few generations. My father has played here also when it first started. Oh. My father passed away now, but we got somebody to take over. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> how long have you been coming to this contest? I've been here off and on maybe six or seven times. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and when did you start coming? I started coming three years ago in the uh, 18th um, annual fiddlers contest, mm -hmm. and I played. I wasn't the best then, so I just I played for the fun of it. I was real nervous. It's the first time I've been on stage, yeah. and I didn't win anything. But the next year I did. I won a crowd pleaser award. Yeah. What'd you do to please that crowd? Played the Orange Blossom Special. Oh, that'll get them every time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of the first songs your dad taught you? No, but it's one of the first songs I wanted to learn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, now, did your dad teach you yeah. how to play to begin with? Yeah, yeah, he taught me how to play. I used to listen to him. And instead of going to a friend's house, I used to just listen to him. Yeah. Because I don't know why. It's just I just wanted to listen to him. When did you get your own fiddle? Um, when I was seven years old, I got my own fiddle. Um, he, I had a little very little fiddle, a yep. little plastic one, yep. and I told him that I didn't want to play it because it didn't sound good. I wanted to be like him. Yeah. So he gave me another fiddle. He, no, he said if I could play three tunes, three, uh, just any tune, he would give me a bigger fiddle. So he, he said to play Happy Birthday, Silent Night, and Jingle Bells. So that night he went to work. I played those three songs. When he came home, I said, Dad, Dad, listen what I can play. And then the next thing, he was surprised. He went upstairs, and when he came back down, he had his fiddle that he played for 19 years. I was really surprised. He gave it to you? Yep, he gave it oh, to me. Oh, that's pretty cool. But it's broken now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you have had to find another one, I guess, huh? No, he, this is my own. Oh. I, uh, the ones that he played, he had been, I've been playing it 19 years until I found this one. Oh. And it took me 19 years to find a good instrument. And we acquired another one to replace the one that got broken. It was a little accident, but uh, we patched it up and things were working out good. Yeah. So you taught him how to play the fiddle? Yeah, but uh, it, like I said, it goes back quite a few generations. Yeah. Five. So your dad taught you? Oh yeah, but uh, it wasn't so much as teaching as picking it up by ear. Because like myself, I listened to my father for so many years that before I even played it, I knew these tunes. You're already memorized. Head, yeah. you know, once you know where to put your fingers, and that's all it is. It's automatic yeah. after that. Well, somebody had to show you where to put your fingers. So. Yeah, there was only a matter of knowing, you know, your ABCs, you know, to yep. find where your notes are, and after that, it's automatic. It comes in. Or, now, do, we, do either of you read music, or do you play by ear? Uh, I told the boy, I said, if you want to go somewhere, that you should learn how to read. And I, he has a music teacher in Canaan uh -huh. that's been spending a year with him now to show him how to read music. All right, well, we'll... Um, We'll wish you the best. I hope you do win. And if you do, maybe we'll see you at the end of the show yep. for something like we oh, did in the beginning. On, he's going to come on with another surprise because he's going to go up and play Trick and Fancy with a coat hanger. Really? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> you want to try to win all the categories? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you teach him that one? No. Well, I, I had the idea, and I told him, I said, why don't you try it, see if you can do something with it. And before you know it, he could play a tune with it. All right. Yeah. Hey, well, good luck to both of you. Thank you much.